Welcome to the Ice Talks, where we implement change every day. Hey, how you doing? This is Harold S. Reed Jr., also known as HRJR, your motivational coach. If you don't know what motive action means, motive plus action equals results, and results equals success. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Ice Talks, episode 51. Listen, um... Ooh, it's been a crazy week. It's Friday. I'm recording this on a Friday. Friday the 25th, to be exact, of January. And it's been a crazy week. Monday, got into a car accident. I'm fine. Car was banged up pretty bad. Didn't know what the circumstances were going to be regarding... Uh, how the insurance company was going to handle it. Uh, and then Tuesday, I recorded the original episode 51 for this podcast. And then I got reports back that it wasn't going through. The sound wasn't coming through. So here we are re-recording it. Um, so let's talk about some things that happened in between the original recording and now uh, I had to go and get a release from the police department because the insurance company is going to fix my car. So that's cool. They're not going to total it out. There's some good news. But the insurance, I mean, the police department requires a payment for storage because they've been holding my car till the insurance company figured out what they were going to do. So that was about three hundred dollars. I wasn't expecting to spend, you know, uh, and today, while getting my kid ready for school, while, having, while, while he's getting ready for school, the toilet explodes. Well, fortunately, nothing but water was in it, but yeah. So I, maybe I had some bad karma due to me or something. I don't know if that's the case, so be it. I'll live. I'm a big boy. I'll be all right. Um, but the original... Episode 51 was, for the very first thing I stated, the accident, uh, was entitled Roll With The Punches. You have to roll with the punches. I've been getting banged up this week. But here's the thing. For every negative thing that happened to me this week, there were some positive things that happened this week, right? Okay, so I was involved in a car accident. My son was in the car. The damage to my car was all driver's side damage, driver's side front end. I tried to avoid the accident from happening, but that's why they're called accidents. My son did not get hurt at all. He was a little shaken, but he wasn't broken. (laughs) Okay, so there's that. Uh, I was uncertain for a couple days how the insurance company was going to handle the car because my car has a lot of miles on it, but... The airbags didn't deploy. There's another positive, all right? And because the airbags didn't deploy, they're just going to fix the car. So I'm going to have my car back. Beautiful. What's the positive about that? The money that I had put aside for, you know, emergency fund money, going to do something in the future with money, you know, that gets to stay in where I got it. I ain't going to tell you where I got it. (laughs) But it gets to stay completely secure, all right, plus the $300 that I had to kick out for the release, the insurance company will reimburse me for that, or deduct it from my deductible, so, you know, I'm here, I'm here, I am here, oh, and about the toilet exploding, that was basically uh, the connector between the main pipe in the wall and the toilet itself, little bolt I guess it reached its limit it was old and it and it and it snapped so yeah the floor's a little wet but we that's what we got blankets and mops and buckets and stuff for so we got that up and I went to to the hardware store Lowe's and the piece that I needed to replace the thing is five dollars and change so I'm here so why am I sharing with you All of my tragedies and triumphs for the week. Because we all have our own tragedy and triumphs. See? And the thing is, 
even though we all share the same human experience, we all have people that get on our nerves, we all have obstacles that come before us, we all want things to go the way we want them to go and very seldom do they, but we're here, see, we're here. As long as you get the opportunity to raise your body up out of bed the next morning, you have an opportunity to make the previous day better. You can make today better than yesterday. And you can make tomorrow better than today. And you're going to have to roll with the punches. Life is going to throw some blows at you. Life is going to throw some elbows at you. Life's going to throw some knees to your nuts. And some of you, at least half of you, ain't got nuts. But that's all right. <laughs> Life is coming for you. And life ain't no joke. Life can be fun. Life can be funny. But life ain't no joke. So I say to you, you know, when these things happen, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm going to be completely transparent, completely honest with you at this point right now. All right. There was a time not too very long ago when if I was faced with something any kind of adverse situation, I would totally go negative. Yes, me, your motive action will coach, motive plus action equals results and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no. I would be in, in the dark zone. I would be evil, depending on the situation, you know, because I'm just, you know, I just got to get through it. I got to fight through it. And of course, when these things happen, I'm naturally pissed, Right? I've had situations happen where they it just made me extremely pissed and I've had situations where I've genuinely worried. But hindsight being 2020, despite those situations or the one thing that has come out of either of those situations is that I'm still here. And I've had good days and I've had bad days and I'm going to have good days. And I'm going to have bad days. And guess what? I'm no better than any of you listening to this episode right now. We are going to have good days and we are going to have bad days. Why? Because we are still here. And good and bad are just a duality of life. But if you can take the opportunity, and it truly is an opportunity, if you could take the opportunity to find some shred of good within that bad or find a way, no pun intended to my first book, but if you can find a way to to turn that bad into something good, to make something good come come out of it, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. See, one of the reasons a lot of people fail in life is... They let these adverse situations take root in their spirit. They let these adverse situations take root in their soul. And then it's basically one thing after another, one thing after another, one thing after another. Because I'm going to tell you something. I believe in the law of attraction. I believe the law of attraction is real. I believe in the power of the law of attraction. And if you live a life where in which you believe that nothing good is supposed to happen to you, Life is going to give you just that, nothing good. If you believe that good things are supposed to happen to you, good things are supposed to come my way. Why? Because I am here. And you live with that energy exuding from you every day. I'm supposed to have good things happen to me. Yeah, there'll be a challenge from time to time, but how else am I going to get stronger? That's what life is going to give you. Life will give you challenges with the purpose of making you stronger because that's how you accept them. But if you take what life gives you as challenges and you take those challenges as as uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction to your soul, to your spirit, and you fall victim to that and then you don't take accountability for it and you blame the world for it, you blame the government for it, you blame the white man for it, you blame the black man for it, you blame anybody else but yourself, then that's what life is going to give you. Life is going to give you a hard way to go 
and it's going to be one thing after one bad thing after another, one bad thing after another. Why? Because you expect bad things to happen. You expect bad things to happen. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you because that's all I can do. All right. I expect bad things to happen and bad things do happen. But I expect bad things to happen. One, because I know that's a part of life. Two, and this is the most important part, I expect bad things to happen because that is how I get challenged. I expect bad things to happen because going through those bad things and learning whatever lessons need to come of those bad things, that's what builds my character. That's what makes me better. Why did my toilet have to explode this morning? You want to know why my toilet had to explode this morning? Or why that little piece had to break off this morning? I'll tell you why. It taught me a lesson. It taught me an affirmative lesson. See, I'm trying to get my kid to get up early so he can get himself ready for school and, and be able to get dressed, brush his teeth, wash his face, make his breakfast, and still have a little bit of time to play on his, you know, if he wants to play on his iPad or if he wants to get some Fortnite in or whatever for a few minutes before he goes to school. I want him to be able to wake up early in order to be able to handle that business and still go on with the rest of his day. What better an example uh, than, than to have a minor emergency occur right when we're already up and about and moving around as opposed to we're all in bed, we're all sleeping, waiting until the last minute to get up and then we just wake up to a flooded bathroom. <laughs> because if he wasn't in the bathroom brushing his teeth, we'd have never heard the toilet come apart. So, you know, think bad things happen for good reasons. And then you know what? That piece just needed to be fixed. So what? Big deal. And it really there's a little tube, little metal tube. Cost five and change. Right? But look at the lessons I got out of that. Look at the lessons I was able to teach from that. See, bad things happen for good reasons. I was able to drive Justin to school today and say, see, see how daddy was able to, you know, we were able to, you know, stop the water and everything. And I'll, after I drop you off, I'll go get the piece we need to fix it. But if we were all in bed, it would have been a whole lot worse. So you see what daddy was trying to teach you by getting up early so you can get everything you need to get done? Yeah, dad, I understand. Cool. Lesson learned, lesson taught. It's a beautiful thing. Sometimes you have to roll with the punches because those punches are not necessarily designed in order to break you. Those punches are designed to build you, to mold you, to shape you, to harden you. Yes. Look at fighters when they train. What do they do? How do fighters train? They train by fighting. But how do they condition their bodies? They take hits to the body. <laughs> How do they condition their, 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 their core, their midsection? They, they throw the medicine ball against it. They have another uh, sparring partner just throw punches to their ribs and to their, to their gut. Now me, you ain't going ain't, nah, ain't nobody punching me in the gut. I don't need that kind of conditioning. But this is how life conditions us all. By throwing curveballs at us. By throwing monkey wrenches in our program. Okay, by putting a hitch in the giddy up. This is how life builds our character. I always say life consists of twists and turns, ebbs and flows, and most importantly, peaks and valleys. When we're at the peak, we are celebrating, but we're not at the peak for long. If you notice, the peak is a small area of space, right? So we're going to be at the peak for a little bit and everything's going great and we're celebrating and everything is looking good. And then slowly but surely or perhaps even very suddenly, bam, you find yourself in the valley. And what are you going to do now that you are in the valley? You're going to get your behind out of the valley if you got any good sense. And that is where your character is built as you climb and grind and struggle to get yourself out of the valley and back up to your next peak. And everything you learn on that journey between the time you're in the valley and the time you get up to that next peak, that is where your character is built. You're going to have to roll with the punches because when you're getting punched, that's when you're rolling down into the valley. So this week was a roll down into the valley. But guess what? I don't plan on staying here long. 
by the time many of you listen to this, I've probably been through several peaks and several more valleys. But guess what? I'm always striving to get back to that peak. See, people fail in life when they find themselves in the valley, don't realize they're in the valley and think they're stuck. And they set up camp and they set up and they set up camp and residence and they stay there in the valley of despair. You don't build your character at the top when everything goes well. And you don't build your character staying in the valley at the bottom low part of your life. No, you build your character on the way up. So you're going to have to struggle. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to grind to get yourself back up to the next peak. Another way to look at it is like this. Let's say you're on a subway in a big city. Not, not like the train traveling cross country, like a subway in the city, underground, right? Or you're going through a tunnel, all right? Life is full of tunnels. In adverse time, adversity is nothing but a tunnel in life. And like all tunnels, there's a way in and there's a way out. Like all tunnels, it's darkest in the middle. It's darkest in the middle. And when you go in and when the, when the stuff goes down, when I almost lost it there. When the stuff goes down, right, you can't believe how dark it gets until you can't see your hand before your face. And times are just people, nobody's on your side and money's pouring out your pocket and people are talking about you and, and nothing you seem to do is working and, and everybody's against you and everybody's, you don't, what am I going to do? You're going to keep going. That's what you're going to do. Because every tunnel has a way in and every tunnel has a way out. You keep going. You keep going. You will find your way out of that tunnel. There will come a light to guide you out of that tunnel. You just have to keep going until you see it. You don't have to see it to believe it. You have to believe it in order to see it. And it will come. Because every step you take towards getting through your struggle... The freedom from that struggle, the peace of mind from that struggle is making its way towards you. And the faster you move towards it, the faster it moves towards you. You can make it. You're going to have to roll with the punches. But you are going to be all right. I, let me tell you, I'm living proof. Honest to God, living proof. I ain't got to be a multimillionaire to be living proof. I always say you can never have a message unless you done been through some mess. Don't nobody who has a real, ain't nobody have a real testimony unless they've been tested. And all I'm sharing with you in this podcast is my testimony, you know, because again, we all share the same human experiences, but it's not what happens to us that determines the quality of our character. It's how we deal with what happens to us. That determines the quality of our character. What can you learn from your circumstances to improve your circumstances? Or are you just going to accept your circumstances and, and, and deal with things as they are? See, you can either go out there in this world and, and live your life or you could just stay where you are and let life happen to you. I am not of the mind to let life happen to me. I have too many people watching me. I have too many people who see me as an example. And I take that responsibility very seriously. So with that, I will leave you with the best of wishes. I hope you guys have a great weekend or whatever day of the week you're listening to a rebroadcast of this. I hope you guys are just having a great day overall. Roll with the punches. You'll be glad you did. Don't quit. Don't give up. Keep fighting. You will be glad you did. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Ice Talks, where we implement change every day.